Penny. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a good day. Um, today I've got a bit of a new video. I'm doing a whole face of one brand of makeup. And this is the first time I'm doing this. And I decided that I would go for an affordable brand that you can pick up easily here in the UK. And I believe other places as well. Um, it's cheap, cheerful and... I have used some of their products and they are really quite good. So um, it's W7. Um, I've done, uh, I've used a few of their palettes. You will have seen me wearing them. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd put together a full face and try it all out for you. So first off, I've got a uh, HD foundation and a matte concealer. Now, I'll be honest, their shade range is abysmal. It is abysmal, but in some of their stuff, you can get a decent shade. But if you've got really pale skin or really dark skin, you're buggered. They, that, this is the lightest shade they do, and I think it's going to be even too dark for me. Um, and this is the lightest concealer, and uh, yeah, that might be too light for me. But hopefully it will make this work, so we've got that. So there's that. So yeah, I wasn't impressed with the shade range at all they do have one foundation where on their website you can get better range but it's only one of them i can't remember which one it is um but i've got face products i've got a bronzer that is clearly a dupe for the benefit hula bronzer i have used this before and i do like it they've got a candy blush i'm not sure what this is duping i think no i'm not sure it might be like the i don't know I don't know, it's duping something, because most of their stuff does. Oh, I've just put my finger straight through it, never mind. And it's this, that's my finger. I've literally just done that, open it. But it's a lovely colour, it's like a peachy colour. Um, so yeah, there's that, which it's cool. Yeah, Angel Dust, so yeah, there's that. I've also got this blush, this one here, which is the Touch Me, which I believe is a dupe for the NARS Orgasm. But that's quite nice. I've used that before. I've got a highlighter in the shade Glow Commotion, which is just like a nice little highlighter. I've got this Hollywood Bronze and Glow Duo, which is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury sculpt and highlight thing. But that's quite nice. Um, I've never tried the powder, but I've got their new, their matte, micro matte fix powder so that i've never tried that before i've got a mascara i've never tried that before brow product never tried that before so i don't know i've got their coal liner i have tried this before it's quite good i've got um i don't know if you saw in one of the mystery boxes i got a lip kit that had four shades in it and they are a dupe for the charlotte tilbury pillow talk well i've got that set i already had it the other one is in my drawer for a giveaway but i already had it so i've got all those so it's a lip liner the lipstick i've used this before you will have seen this on me i love this it's a really nice nudie color and then a plumping lip gloss and just a lip gloss that all comes with it i've got a primer a glow primer and then i've got the new influencer palette that I believe is a dupe of a Huda Beauty one, but please don't quote me on it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, so there's that. I'm just going to clean the blusher off my thumb before I end up with it everywhere. So yeah, it's a full face of all new to me. Um, W7, why has it suddenly gotten dark on here? That's a bit better, isn't it? Oh yeah, sorry about that. Mum phoned. So yeah, we're right, we're back. Um, so I'm going to start off with my primer. This is the It's Glow Prime Radiant Primer. Don't know, not used this one. So oh, oh, that is glowy. Oh, that might be too much. Never mind. Fortunately, it's quite a matte foundation. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, it smells nice feels quite nice i'm not i don't usually use these so i do like them i usually use a pore filling one and then put these over the top but we are just using w7 and i don't have a pore filling primer from w7 so we'll just go with straight up 
glow. Look at that. <laughs> it's a bit glowy for me, but we'll we'll go with it. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. I'm doing earrings of the day. I've got these are my little teddy bear ones, and these are from I think it's one second. These are from Handmade by Ellie Lou on Etsy. I will uh, link it link her shop down in the in the bottom. This is from one of the either the ten or the twenty piece mystery box that I had from her. They are lovely, the little jelly baby teddy bears. So I like those. So yeah, we're going to be doing earrings of the video, just so that I can sh use them, show them, and help promote their business so yeah there's that now i'm gonna do that i'm gonna let that sit for a bit i'm gonna do my eyes first always do my eyes first in case there's fallout um because i tend to get it everywhere i haven't got an eyeshadow primer so i'm gonna use their concealer uh where have I put there's my mirror right sometimes you might end up with my mirror but this is the aussie see you on the other side revolution with aussie osborne mirror you can't get it anymore otherwise i'd link it down below but i really like this one it's really easy to use really lightweight so yeah there's that i've got just a little blending sponge hmm. Hmm. not sure about this concealer you know We'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's not a primer. And it's hydrating. And my eyeballs are already really quite moisturised. Look. But it does the trick and evens them out. And we've got this. Oh, we've got a mirror. That's really cool. Have we got a... No, we haven't got a satisfaction of stripping it off. We've got a little oh they stick these stupid stickers on the end i hate it oh bear with me ah oh, there we go and i stuck my finger in another pan just cleaned up from the blusher that went everywhere so this is what she looks like you get an eyeshadow brush now normally these are shit but i have noticed that they're ones they're not too bad you know so i'm going to use it look look see they're really quite soft and it's got like a more precision one. So that's really nice. So yeah, this is what we look like. This is what we're working with. And we've got some sort of cream here and here. I think they're supposed to be like eyeliners. I don't know. But yeah, we've got those. Um, so I'm going to guess it's going to be sort of a brownie goldy look. What do you think? Yeah, brownie. Oh, I want to use this one. I definitely want to use this one. So I'm thinking I'm going to start off in here. And then go to probably this one up here, darken it all up, then then use this one on the outer corner, and then possibly this one on the inner corner. So we'll have a go, we'll have a go. So we'll go into that one with the fluffy brush, but it's quite pigmented. That's it. Right, and then let's start buffing. I'm just running that through my crease. Oh, that's not bad, look. Yeah. Sometimes they take a bit of like building up, but I mean, the price point you're paying for them, you know, compared to, I'm going to, I'm going to have a look in a minute. Actually, I'm going to have a look now. I don't know if you can see, but I think, oh my bloody ring light, I think that is the palette that this is trying to dupe. If you look, it's a very, it's very, very close. I don't have it. Um, you can't see it as well on, on camera, but it's definitely trying to imitate that one, looking at it. it's Yeah, it's even got the two cream liner shades. Yeah. And this one is on sale for £46.50. £46.50, and that's on sale. It would normally retail for £62, and this one was i think it was 9.95 so yeah i mean don't get me wrong i do i do have um one of the big huda beauty palettes i have the uh mercury mercury retrograde i've never used it well i've used it twice it's 
it's all right, but it's I would have said that the the quality is not worth the price difference, you know. That's all I'm saying. Um, this one, it's quite well pigmented, you know. So I'm just running that all through my crease like that. Yeah, they're working, aren't they? You're definitely getting colour payoff. So yeah, just do a little bit of a build up on those. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Right, I'm going to put that down because I'm going to go in a different colour and I need another fluffy, fluffier brush. Do I need a fluffier? Yeah. Right, I'm going to... Nope. I'm going to use this end and I'm going to deepen it up with this one. Clout, this one's called. It's this one. I decided to go with this one on the end here. So, yeah. That is pigmented. Look at that. So, yeah. That's just... Oh, yeah, look. Uh, they they are blending so well, they really are. Look at that! I got to admit, I don't like this brush. It's just too stiff. It's not giving me. Yeah, I'm gonna change the brush. That's just. I've got another one, like it there. That'll do. There. That's better. Getting a bit more of a... Just going to sort of wing it out here. Just because I'm going to put a bit of eyeliner there. But I don't have... Oh, I do have a brown, don't I? I have the brown that's in this palette. Hmm. Okay. Okay, remember that. Me, not you, obviously. If I don't do it... If I don't do it, you can come for me in the comments, can't you? You can say, oh, I thought you were going to do that. Because it will be that between now and when I actually come to do that, I will have forgotten all about it. Because my brain is that forgetful. So, a bit more. Build it up a bit. I do prefer when you can build the shadows up a bit. It just means that you don't. You know, you get the blending right without having to keep on and on and on. You know, blending it out and blending it out. Very match? Probably not. I'm not that good. There we go. Just flick it out a bit there. Right, now I'm going to go back in with that, that top one in the first colour. And I'm just going to blend out so that it's not so harsh on the top. Just like that, see? Just blend it out a bit. Just a dab of that. And then just blend out the top, just so that it, just a bit, well, it's not as harsh, you know? Yeah. So, what do we think? Yeah, I like them. Right, and then I'm going to go into this shade here. I'm going to take a finger. I always use a finger. Um, it's just, yeah, personal preference, but I always use a finger to do shimmers. I don't see the point in even starting with look at that that is so pretty it's like a it's like a purple agate you know I've got a nail polish by Barry M that's this colour and it's so pretty so pretty look look just Look at, oh well. And she's thrown it everywhere. This is why I start with eyeshadow. So we do that and then just wipe it away. Let's see, did I get it all? Yep. And just clean my fingers off because I'm going to go in with another one. go and I'm going to go in with let's have a look I think this one here yeah look at that it's shiny 
Oh, wow. Look. Look at that. That's stunning. I'm going to need a little brush. Haha. <laughs> Just to soften the edge. Wrong one. Got hair on my face. They don't pick up on a brush very well, I'll give them that. But they do pay off on... Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Look at that. That's blended so prettily with the other one. I'm just going to take this and just... That's it. Just tidy it up there a bit. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's pretty. That is pretty. So we go back in there. Look. It is very crumbly, though. Right, I'm going to have to use this. Look at that. One swipe. One swipe. Yeah, and then we use the brush to disperse it and just... Mix it with the other shade. Oh, so pretty. Look. I do like that. I do like that. It's very standout, though. Very standout. If you're looking for a subtle look, this, this, this. Yeah, that's not a subtle look. So, yeah. Right. Now, I've got a little liner brush here, so I'm going to go in with the Conqueror shade. Let's just have a look. Oh, look, look, that swatches really well. Let's see what it's like drawing it on. Oh. Let's see if we can draw it all in. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, yeah, well pressed. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. So, yeah, just bring it along the lash line, the top lash line. You can't see what I'm doing, can you? Sorry about that. Yeah. And then just uh, wing it out at the end and bring it across. Yeah. What's going on here? Right, we just need to tidy that one up because that's where I smudged that other eyeliner. So, one second, I'm just going to go and sort that out. Right, we sorted that out. Uh, next, I move on to my base products. So I'm going in with this foundation. I'm going to use a blender but blender today. Um, just just because I have used this once before and found that it worked better with a blender. So I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. Dip it in my blender. Right, going to use this. Here we go. Ready? Hmm. I'll grant them. It's not my shade. Look at that as mm, might be able to wait make it work. We'll see. Bring it down my neck a bit. Is that looking? It looks all right on camera, but it is quite different in real life. 
bit more. Might have to do a bit more of a pump on that. The uh, the glow stuff down below. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. I'm hoping that by the time we've got this on and powdered down that we'll sort that out, but we'll see. So... Yeah, that's all right. As things go, it's not too bad. Right, yeah, look, you can see that all that's underneath that's still coming through. Um, I'm not sure I like that. It's a bit shiny, but we'll go with it. It can't hurt. It's summer. Might as well have artificial glow in it. And then I've got this, and it's matte, and I think this is going to, yeah, it's going to be too matte for this look. But we're going to go with it because it's what we've got, and we need some toning down of the glitter literally under my eyes. It's just like sheer, it's like sheer glitter, I'll be honest. I'm going to have to stick a bit of this all over and see if we can mattify it down a bit because it's a bit it's just a little bit glowy for me uh that's not too bad it's helping yeah i'm not sure on that primer um if you like a real shimmery glowy look you'll love it if you don't stay clear of that yeah, it's all right, but yeah, it's not. That's personal preference. It's not my favourite finish. So I haven't got any cream products. I've got to admit, I've got loads. I don't really use them. Um, I do sometimes, but I this time of year I don't need loads and loads and loads of makeup on my face. I just want basics. So I just want like powders and that that have got quite a bit of pigment in them so you don't need to use loads so yeah right we've put all that in look and it's looking all right it's not too bad it's not too bad um i think this this foundation is like four pound 45 or four pound 95 something like that so it's really really affordable and it's you know it's done the job it's done the job so I'm going to go in with this. I got this in the shade translucent. I always use a translucent powder. I don't ever use a um, like a pigmented one. I yeah, I don't I don't really want want it. So we're gonna just use. This is not the Trigwell sponge. This is one of my Sheen ones because they operate the same. We're doing affordable, and these are affordable and look at that that's okay okay that's not bad that's not bad i've not used hardly any i've taken most of it off of the the pad but it's definitely it's mattified the skin down a bit it's helped with blurring the pores um it's not too great on the fine lines but it's not too bad. You can see. It's not too bad. It doesn't look as good in real life. I'll, I'll give it that. Um, but. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not accentuated my pores or anything. I mean, you can see them because... I'm 46 and I have them and I've yet to meet a powder that can actually blur them out but they don't look massive or unsightly and my skin doesn't look horrendous um I do think that that primer underneath it's still coming through you can still see the glow from it and that is what's not helping with the whole pore situation personally that's what I think um anyway moving on i've got the honolulu bronzer which is that sort of shade it's lovely i love this bronzer but 
I thought I would use this one today as I haven't actually used this one. Uh, scratch that, we're not using that one. That one's got shimmer in it. Like I need more shimmer on my face right about now. So this one, I don't think we're going to be testing out a highlighter. Put it that way. Put this on. It's a nice colour. I do like this one. I do use this one quite regularly. Um, it's nice, buildable, not like ridiculously pigmented where you have to be careful with what you're doing. But at the same time, you, you still get a decent colour payoff. So yeah, and it blends so well. Look at that. Blends out. Looks good. Gives you a nice colour, like you've been in the sun rather than anything else, without too much. Yeah. Yeah, I love that one. That's one of my favourite, one of my favourite bronzers that I own, that one. Um, and I, I do own some of the bougier ones, but that one happens to be my favourite. Oh, in the summer anyway, it's a bit, it's a bit dark for winter. All right, now the blush. Oh, wow. Okay. We're going to be tapping plenty off of that, aren't we? So that's what it looks like. You just tap it in. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I do like that. I do like that. Like I say, I've got the one that's the dupe of the NARS Orgasm. But... I don't particularly like the Nath Orgasm. It's not a shade for me. I know it's supposed to be a brilliant universal shade, but I, it's a bit. No, I don't. I don't particularly like it. It's too shimmery for me. So yeah, we got those. There. Hmm. Pretty. It gives a nice glow. Without being. Yeah. Without being too much. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, definitely like that blush. Definitely be using that again. Right, next, uh, eyeliner. So I've got the cold pencil. I would use the one in the palette, but I want to use this one as well. I have used this one before, and I know it's good. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to put it a little bit in my waterline, and then I'm going to go underneath my eyeline with something, with one of the powders from in there. So yeah, here we go. I will say that eyeshadow has, it's all in my inner corner and down, so we won't need to be doing an inner corner highlight because it's kind of already there. And I've just drawn straight underneath my eye because I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Here we go. I'm just going to fix that. Brilliant. Gone. Just tighten on the top. Just a little bit, not a lot. Don't need lots. So yeah, there's that. Right, let's find a smaller... What have we got here that we can use? Yeah, I'm going to use this one. I think this one would be the best one. I've got... Get rid of that. Right. Where's that palette? There it is. Right, we're going to go in here. And I think I'm going to go underneath with this colour here. This one. It's just like that on the brush. Let me just brush that slightly underneath. Just to define the eyes underneath. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do, wouldn't it? That'll do. And then mascara. We've got this one. I don't know what it's like. I've not used it before. There's the brush. That's not too bad. That's all right. It's basic, isn't it? 
This is supposed to give mega long. We'll see, shall we? Right. It's quite a wet formula, but then quite often mascaras need to just be open a couple of days just to dry a bit because they get a bit. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. That's just one coat. And it's it's definitely separated. Yeah. Let's do the other side. Do it so you can see. There. It's definitely doing something, isn't it? It's all right, I've got to get those unicorn ones there. Okay, now this was one ninety nine. One ninety nine. That is not bad. I'm gonna do another coat on the other side. See if what two coats does. I don't normally do more than two coats with mascara. Okay, no, I like that, I do like that, that is not bad. The test will be if it transfers, so I'll let you know in the comments whether it ends up all the way down my face or whether it stays where I put it. But look, that second coat, that is not bad at all. There we go, second coat on this one. I don't know if you can see, but look at that. That is. That's definitely lengthened. I mean, I'm quite lucky I've got quite long lashes anyway. But that's definitely lengthened. I've got it up the top again anyway. I always do that. Where's that? It's really just uh, flick it off. There we go. Right. I'm not going to put it on the lower ones because I don't think it's going to stay. And my lower ones are all right at the moment. So, yeah, I'm not going to put that down there. Right. Last but not least, I have a brow product. Now, I'm finicky with my brows. I don't really bother with them all that much. But I got it... I got this in, I think it was in an advent calendar. So it's got a spoolie on one end, which is great for, you know, just brushing through. But as you can see, I've got, I've got my eyebrow rings in and they need, I need to wax, get them waxed again soon. So, yeah, so we just do that. And then let's just see what, what it's like, shall we? That's a good colour match. Mm. Yeah. Does what it says on the tin. Just draws in breast, br brush strokes. Uh, they're not particularly refined or anything, but they're good enough for me. Like I say, I don't, don't worry all that much with my brows. I've got quite bushy brows. Hmm. Just brush it through again just to even it all out. Make sure it's all dispersed nicely. No clumpy bits. Just brush up. I haven't got a brow gel, but then I don't... I'll be honest, I don't really use it. And I don't have any setting spray either, but then again, I don't really use it. Um, and so then we're on to the last stage, which is just lip products. So I've got the gloss, and uh, one of them's plumping. I can never remember which one. One of them smells strongly of mint. Ah, I think it might be that one. Let's just sniff this one. 
yeah that one's the this one's the plumping one I'm not going to bother with that so I'm just going to use the lip liner this is really nice this lip liner I've used this quite a few times it's a nice color it's just like a nude sort of what is it they say your lips but better so yeah I like that it's nice and creamy Mm -hmm. Get it down and sharpening it. Yeah. So that's that. And then the lipstick. I like this lipstick. It's one of my favourites. It's just sort of this sort of colour. Yeah. It comes out a little. It's just a. Uh, it's just a really nice sort of pinky, browny, nudie colour. That just sort of goes with everything. So, yeah. That's that. I'm going to go away, finish doing my hair. And then I'll be back to show you my final look. And give you my final thoughts. I haven't done... Uh, I haven't done the highlighter. I don't really want to stick more shimmer on my face. But for the sake of testing, we will. So it's like that. What's it come out like? It's oh, it's quite a glittery one, isn't it? Let's see what this one's like. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go with this one. It's just a little, little less glittery. Bang off loads, and then just. Yeah, that's all right. It's it's a lot more prominent in person, but it's it's okay. Yeah, it'll do. I'm gonna stick it on me under my eyebrow there and there just to brighten that a bit. But yeah, pretty. That'll do. Right, I'm gonna go wait and finish what I started. And I will be back in a minute with my final thoughts. Okay. And this is my final look with my hair done. My hair's a mess. I'm getting it cut and then I'm going to do something new with it. So I will take you on that little journey with me getting my hair done. I'm going to have a little bit of a mini glow up. So I'm going to get my hair done, get a facial done. I'm getting me and BB glow done again. So I'll put that in and just go from this to something hopefully a bit better not quite sure what i want cut into my hair yet probably won't be that different i will still have a fringe but and, and i'm still going to have this front part colored but it's i'm thinking of not having pink i'm thinking of maybe a different color we'll see we'll see it depends if it works or not so there's always that but anyway this is my final look um yeah i've been it's not too bad i will give it that right the foundation is nice. The primer is awful. I'm never going to use that again. It's like sheer glow on the skin. It's not good. It's not good. It's really shiny, especially in person. It's really quite shiny. It's come through the foundation and powder and everything. And yeah, but the, the eyeshadows, look at them. That is stunning. They are stunning. They blend so well. Do you get fallout? Yes, it's a cheaper product. Of course, you're going to get fallout. Do you have to build the shades up a little bit? Yes, like I said, again, it's a cheaper product. You expect that. But it's nice to have that so that you don't go in and you put it on and you think, oh, sh I don't want that much. Do you know what I mean? So I do like them. You do get plenty of colour payoff. But yeah, they're slightly more blend. They are blendable. Uh, the mascara, I do like that mascara. Look at that. That is, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it is really lengthened my lashes and it's separated them. And yeah, I do like that. For $1.99, fantastic. The lipstick, love the lipstick, always have. The blusher and the bronzer, I, they're really nice. They're really pretty colours. You can blend them. Um, they're not so hyperpigmented that you, you know, you struggle to blend them or anything. They're really nice. The concealer. It's already creasing, I'll get, you know, it's already, it's it's all right. 
it was two pounds something i think so yeah it was all right but yeah that's that's the end of that that's the final look so don't forget the little teddy bear earrings that's um made by ellie emmy ellie lou i think it is i will link her shop down in the description but other than that that is it for this video um if you could give me a thumbs up subscribe down below for more videos to come and hopefully i will see you in my next one bye for now